Good afternoon, I'm Rena Nine and at the ABC News headquarters in New York with a digital report on breaking news out of North Korea. Two Americans imprisoned in that secretive nation have been released. Kenneth Bay and Matthew Todd Miller are on their way home after negotiations conducted by National Intelligence Director James Clapper. Kenneth Bay, a Korean American who went to North Korea nearly two years ago, was accused of being part of a Christian plot to overthrow the regime. He was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. Matthew Todd Miller went to North Korea seven months ago. Officials there say he tore up his visa and sought asylum, but he was arrested. Convicted of, quote, hostile acts and sentenced to six years of hard labor. Bay and Miller's release comes just over two weeks after another American, Jeffrey Fowl, returned from nearly six months of captivity there. You can see him reuniting with his family here. He was arrested for leaving a Bible in a bathroom. Fowl talked with our own Bob Woodruff. Why is it that you were let go and not Miller and Bay? I ask that same question myself every day. U.S. officials say today's release played out over several days. Intelligence Chief Clapper conducted the secret negotiations and Order traveled to Pyongyang to conduct them. It is the highest level contact between the United States and North Korea in 14 years, but there is no evidence that Clapper met directly with Kim Jong-un, that country's leader. President Obama spoke briefly about their release. Uh, well, I think uh, it's a wonderful day for them and their families. Uh, obviously, we are very grateful uh, for their safe return. And uh, I appreciate uh, Director Clapper uh, doing a great job uh, on uh, what was uh, obviously a challenging mission. All right. A welcome development. Three weeks ago, three Americans were held captive in North Korea. Today, they are all free. ABC News is monitoring these developments around the clock. To get updates on these top stories, star them on the ABC News phone app. We'll have a complete wrap on Good Morning America and This Week in the Morning. I'm Rena Nina in New York. Have a great day.